Hello everybody, it's Matt from TDM Style here, and welcome to the first episode in a new series for my channel called Product Punch-Out. In each episode of this series, I'll be pitting two similar products against each other to determine my personal favorite. In this first episode, we're going to be putting the new Cavalier Clay by Blumon up against Hans de Foucault's poster product, Claymation. Now this series is very highly inspired by the Brand Battle series from Robin James over at Man For Himself, so if you haven't checked out Robin's channel, I'm going to link to it uh, up here and down in the description box below, and definitely go check those out. He's got a lot of great videos, and his Brand Battle series are one of my personal favorites. Now we're going to be comparing these products in 10 different categories, so we will be looking at packaging, price, scent, ingredients, texture and application, finish, hold, longevity, reworkability, and washability. At the end, we'll see who comes out to Victor in terms of sheer points, and then I'll give you my overall thoughts on both products. Starting straight away with packaging, we can see that Claymation is in Hans de Foucault's standard two ounce frosted plastic jar with this aluminum lid. Versus the Cavalier Clay, which is in this 2.5 ounce sort of shorter and bit wider tub, which has a bit more of that sort of classic hair product look. While I do like both package designs, I do prefer a little bit more of that classic look, so for me, the point goes to Cavalier. Next, let's take a look at price. We've got Claymation for two ounces coming in at $19.50, and with the shipping, you're going to be looking at $5 for inside the US, $10 to Canada or Mexico, or $15.95 for international shipping. Versus the Cavalier, we've got the same price of $19.50, but this is a 2.5 ounce jar, and as far as shipping, you're looking at $5.75 flat rate for inside the US, and $8.95 flat rate for international. So if we forget about the shipping cost for a minute and just look at that base price, they are both dead even at $19.50. However, since the Cavalier does have 2.5 ounces instead of two, the point for me goes to Cavalier. Next, let's talk about scent. Now with Claymation, I would almost call it unscented. It really, to me, smells almost like nothing. Um, you get a little bit of just that straight clay smell, which is nice, um, but it's very, very light and hardly detectable versus the Cavalier, which definitely has a scent, and to me, it really just smells like Play-Doh. So based purely on the fact that I really like the smell of Play-Doh, the point for me goes to Cavalier. Next, let's take a look at ingredients. So if we turn both of those jars around, we can see that both clays are wax-based, and both of these include things like liquid paraffin, beeswax, castor seed oil, bentonite and cowling clays, and water in the tops of their ingredient lists. Beyond that is where they really start to differ, and if we look at Cavalier's ingredient list, we can see lots of organic oils that Claymation doesn't have, so things like jojoba, avocado, argan oil, sunflower seed oil, safflower oil, rosehip oil, and Cavalier also has rice protein and amino acids, which will actually help to give your hair some body and extra nourishment. So based purely on the fact that it has more nourishing and protective ingredients in it for your hair, the point goes to Cavalier. Next, we're moving on to texture and application. So if we look at Claymation, we can uh, see that it is firm as you would expect a clay to be, but it does come out of the jar fairly easily. It emulsifies very quickly in your hands and applies quite smoothly with no pulling or tugging. Versus the Cavalier, I find this clay to actually be a bit thicker and firmer consistency than Claymation, so it does take a little bit more work to break that down into your hands. The Cavalier does also apply pretty smoothly to the hair, but you can feel it uh, gripping a little bit more. I wouldn't really call it pulling, but you can just sort of feel it going into your hair a little bit more so than the Claymation. So since it does break down a bit easier and go into your hair a little bit more smoothly, this point goes to Claymation. Now we're moving on to the finish. So if we look at the Claymation jar, we can see it says that it gives you a matte finish. And uh, while I find this to be mostly true, I would really consider it more of like a semi-matte finish. I think it still gives you just a little bit of shine. It's not like a totally dry matte looking finish. First is the Cavalier, which we can see says natural finish. So personally, I find that both of these clays for me have basically the same exact finish where it is mostly matte, but it does have a little bit of that natural sheen. So purely based on it being a little bit more of an accurate description on the product label, the point goes to Cavalier. Next, we're looking at possibly one of the most important categories, and that is hold. Now, Claymation boasts a super high hold, while the Cavalier calls it a heavy hold. So I think with both of those descriptions, you can kind of take them for what they are. So I think we're looking at two products that are calling themselves quite a high hold. Now, for me with Claymation, I've found that it seems to kind of take about a half an hour to 
totally really set and dry into my hair, at which point it does seem to lose a little bit of the hold that I thought it had when I was done styling. For example, I styled my hair with claymation the other day just before I left for work, and uh, by the time I got to work and started getting into things that I was doing, my hair definitely changed textures a little bit. It felt a little bit more um, dry as the product had set, and I did notice that it lost a bit of that hold and the front of my hair was kind of falling down a little bit. So I think if I had the opportunity to apply a little bit more at that point, it would have been a higher hold. But when we're talking about that versus the Cavalier, I think with the Cavalier, you get a little bit more of like what you see is what you get. So I did mention that the Cavalier is a little bit less smooth in the application process, but with that being said, I think it just, you can feel it really gripping your hair a bit more. And I find that um, using the same amount of each product, I do definitely get more hold out of the Cavalier. I think it would probably be possible to achieve the same amount of hold with the claymation, but I would definitely have to use a considerably larger amount of the product. So with that in mind, the point for me goes to Cavalier. Next we're looking at longevity. So does this stuff really last from morning until night, or are you going to need to reapply throughout the day? Looking at the claymation first, as I mentioned a minute ago, I think it does really take about a half an hour for it to truly set and before you really know if you have quite enough in your hair. But with that being said, it does last all day. I mean, if you run your fingers through your hair, you are still feeling that product. However, for me, I do find that after, you know, a full day of work where I'm busy and doing things, the claymation does seem to start to break down a little bit and lose some of its hold. Versus the Cavalier, which for me, I do find to last quite a bit longer, so I'm not constantly fixing my hair or moving it into different positions, which I certainly can do, but I think that it just seems to last a lot longer and I can get through an entire workday without having to really touch my hair. So for me, the point for longevity goes to Cavalier. Next, we're talking about reworkability. Now, to be quite honest, I find both of these products to be very reworkable in that they both stay very malleable throughout the day. It's very easy to adjust or fix or even change up your style if you want to. However, as I mentioned with claymation, for me, it does seem to sort of break down as the day goes on if I keep messing with it too much versus the Cavalier, which I find to be just a bit more reworkable in that I can mess with it more throughout the day without it breaking down. And I think that that might be to do with all of the oils and proteins and things that the claymation does not have. So that reworkability point for me goes to Cavalier. Now we're on to our final category of washability. So how easy are these things to wash out of your hair? And with both of these products being wax-based, neither one is going to wash out with just water. You are going to need a shampoo to get them totally out of your hair. That being said, I do find the claymation easier to wash out for me. And I think that that may be due to, uh, if we look at the ingredients list, the claymation has water or aqua in the fifth ingredient spot, whereas Cavalier has it in the seventh spot. So I think the claymation has just a little bit higher percentage of water in the product, which makes it a bit more water soluble. So the washability point for me goes to claymation. So on to my final thoughts, guys. And if we're looking strictly at points, we can see that Cavalier was way out in front with eight points versus Claymation's two points. Now with that being said, I do think that these are both really great products and they are going to be a little bit different for you based on your hair type. Cavalier was designed specifically for those of us with hair like me, where it's thick, wavy, coarse, and hard to deal with, where I think Claymation was probably designed to be a little bit more of a universal product. However, personally for me, I do really like the Cavalier over the Claymation. I just think that it has better hold, it has better longevity for me. I like the smell. I like that you get a little bit more bang for your buck in terms of price. So for me, Cavalier Clay by Blumon is the clear winner in this first episode of Product Punch-Out. That wraps things up for this first episode. I really hope that you guys did enjoy this, and if you did, please be sure to hit that like button down below. If you have suggestions of other products that you'd like me to compare for future product punch-out videos, please do mention them in the comments section. As always, thank you guys so much for coming by and watching, and we'll see you all at the next one.